get it. Oh, got him, got him. Dude, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Dude, that's a big one. There we go. What is going on, everybody? I am bass fishing today, bringing it back. I haven't fished in about a week. Believe it or not, I have not fished in a week. I've been hunting every day. Uh, I haven't been filming every day, just because filming duck hunting is not the easiest thing in the world to do. And I've just, you know, it's just kind of like it's early season and I just got the itch to just actually hunt ducks and not just film. But today I am out here with Nathan. Nathan, we met at the meetup, right? The Shields meetup. So you guys saw the Shields meetup with like the time last. Well, he was one of them and he's like, dude, Got this fire spot. I was like, dude, you know me. You know me and fire spots, we get along. So we're here. I can hear frogs croaking. That's usually a good sign that it's gonna be a pretty good day. I'm bringing like 19 rods as usual. Um, get a lot of crap for that, but you know what? I hate retying and that's just my style of fishing. So hate on, hate on me all you want. But he told me I could bring as many as I want, all right? I asked. I, I'm not gonna just like load the dude's boat with a bunch of tackle without asking. But dude, I like that boat. Can I, can I trade you my boat for that boat? Do you guys see this boat? Hey, it's for sale, man. It is, is it? How much? It does have a motor? Yeah. Okay, all right, I'll think about it. This, guy, this might be a 10 pounder version too, boys. It's not even out of 10? What is that, fiberglass? Yeah, fiberglass. Nah, okay, well it's gotta be the, the fiberglass pounder or something like that. Anyways, I'm gonna throw a frog, Sanko. There's no wind, so that usually means frog and Sanko. Hopefully you guys enjoy. We are out on the boat. Before I get started, you guys, check it out. Ducks t-shirts now back in stock. We got a whole website. For those of you guys who have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll just link it down below. You gotta check it out. We got the sickest hunting merch on planet Earth. I'll link it down below. Everything is back in stock this week. Check it out. It's not like, you know, like on Tiny Boat Nation, man, he's using some like all over. So they don't want the frog. They should eat the Senko though. There's a fish. Got one. First one. Oh, here we go. A little Senko fish. That's what we're talking about. It's about time, boys. Okay, right, he's still there. Come here, buddy. Whoop! Look at that. That is what we came here for. Biggins all day, every day. You guys can see, again, it's calm as can be. So, my go-to lure is a Stanko. See, buddy? Whoop! Back in the water. I'm throwing a, uh, I'll show you the rig I'm throwing here. We got a little Yamamoto Stanko. It's a green pumpkin, red flake maybe. I've got a way too big of a hook on here. Normally you go with like a two or three out. I've got like a four out heavy duty hook for God knows what, why reason, what, I don't even know what I'm saying. And um, let's see what I have, 15 pound line. That's that's okay, that's, that's decent. And then I'm actually throwing the brand new six stick, the new ones that are back in stock, six stick. And um, yeah, that's pretty much my setup. If you guys want any of the products, I will link them down below as always. These weeds, there's just not enough wind. Yeah, I think that Sanko's probably our only bet. Not much wind. Yeah, I'll go back to the Sanko. We don't have enough wind for the old swim jog. I might be able to catch fish, but I already had two fish. I didn't have to go prawn for one of them, that was my bad. Um, but we, uh, yeah, I had I have had two fish so far, and I've tried brush hogs, that's not working. There's something that sinks slow, I think. You guys see like that? That's that's what we're, that's what we're working with today. You got one? Oh, here we go. Oh, squeaker! Look at that. That. Nothing new. That's yeah. I mean, you bring flare in your boat. What do you expect? That's that's just a given right there, boys. That's a Senko fish, though. I'm telling you guys, this lure catches everything. Always catches fish, no matter where you're at. Worst conditions, best conditions, catches fish. If you guys haven't used them. I'm not, this is not a sp paid sponsorship, all right? Me and Yamamoto are tight, but we're not that tight, all right? I'm just letting you guys know. If you guys wanna go catch some fish, tie on a stanko. Get him, get him. Yeah, here we go. 
Oh, Nathan's hooked up, boys. Here we go. How big is he? Seven, eight pounds, nine, nine inches. And yep, that sounds about right. About nine inches there. It's better than nothing. You, you guys heard it right first here, folks. Better than oh, got a. We almost we almost had a perk moment. Look at that. <laughs> just had to get just had to give the real and old washing is all. Not bad. Not bad. Well, guys, we aren't catching absolute behemoth of a, a fish. But this is a new lake for me. I've never fished here before. Bluebird skies, warm, pretty warm. It's almost hot and zero wind. Um, I would rather take like snow and at least a little bit of wind than this. But you know, whatever. We're shallow muddy, shallow muddy lake calls for a good old stanka. You're throwing black and blue. Yep. I'm throwing watermelon or a green pumpkin red flake. I've kind of alternated depending on if I lose the sanko or not. Both of them are catching fish, just no biggins. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, I didn't even know he was there. Oh, that's a decent one. Here we go, folks. Now we're talking. Yes, that's called an upgrade there, son. Oh, I got to get him in the boat, though. I mean, that's usually important. I didn't know what he was swimming at me. I was just kind of reeling in slack. That's better. Here we go. Woo! That's the size we're after. Yeah, I'm just letting it sit on the bottom. I'm sitting there texting the Guggen squad, asking, well, I can't tell actually why. So, Rob, Rob made a purchase that you guys will soon see on YouTube, and I was asking him why he bought it, and there you go. How about that? Decent, decent folks. On the old Stanko, did it again. Janae, see you later, Janae. Sick. Same thing, folks. Little watermelon red Stanko. Sitting on the bottom. The, our tactic today, the key to our success, text with one hand, hold the rod in the other, and wait for the fish to pull on the rod and then reel down and set the hook. Take notes, folks, take notes. By the way, there's, those are honkers and those suckers are dead. He's coming up here in about a month and a half. So we are actually leaving this lake. I caught, well, we caught five, right? Yep. Yeah, caught five, one decent on the Stanko, but um, there's another, there's, there's a few lakes around here, so we're actually gonna pop over. Sun is getting pretty close to setting and uh, we're gonna try to go to another lake, try for topwater fish. You said. You said there's a pretty juicy topwater spot there, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, although the Sanko is king, I know you guys don't want to see me just catch Sanko fish all day. So, I am going to try to mix it up a little bit, and uh, we're gonna go hop over to another lake, take a topwater out there, right at dark, see if we can catch a donkey. As soon as I saw the camera come out, it oh, yeah. dance. Oh yeah. That's it, Andrew. Yeah, I'm not a weird kid that holds a camera and talks to himself. That's, <laughs> no, that's me. Mine. Change of plans. We got Tim on the boat. Now we got the the three amigos rocking in the. Uh, what are we gonna? What I call this? The gla the the fiberglass pounder or something? I don't know what well, I don't know what I called this. I already kind of forgot. Change of plans. Had a very nice lady come talk to us and convince us to stay here. So the big ones come out to play once it gets dark. We picked up Tim. So now we are Tim. Tim was also at the meetup. So both these guys were at the meetup. Now we're gonna stay and try to catch big ones. I don't know what I'm gonna throw. I kind of want to throw the plop daddy just because it's the plop daddy. You can't not throw the plop daddy. But then she was saying like a swim bait, um, sometimes like a beaver bait or something. So anyways, I'm going to quit talking. But anyways, that's just, I'm just letting you guys know what's going on. We're, we're going to try to catch a big one. I mean, we made, there's one. Yep, that's a decent one too. That's a decent one. God, it's coming right at me. Look at this thing, dude. He's freaking hauling ass. Come on, buddy. Woo! Squeaker! I'm sure the sounds great with the train, but I was throwing the old Stanko again. I tried to pop her, no luck. I tried to swim jig, no luck. This lure always catches fish. It is a flare fish, but it's a fish. What's the, you gotta name this one. What's this one's name? Lucille. Lucille? All right, see you later, Lucille. Woo! Oh, get it! Oh, got him, got him. Dude, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Dude, that's a big one. There we go. There we go. Here we go, guys. Probably about, that's about a four pounder in my opinion. Didn't bring the scale, but ate the popper right at dark. Thankfully, I've got some awesome camera guys with some flashlights, but I'm going to say goodbye. What do you guys want to name this one? Oh, we got to name it a good one. 
Good. It's got to be a good one. Damn it, Louie. Louie? All right, this is Louie, boys. See you later, Louie.